What's up guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Salty Slaker, thanks for tuning in. The Summer Game Fest is over, all the other events are over. What did we get to see? We got some Witchfire gameplay, that's looking good. We got one dead gameplay, slicey dicey action, that's looking really good. Can't wait to play this one. Delicious Last Course gameplay, Venom, Spidey, and the Hulk introduced to Marvel's Midnight Suns. Casey Jones gets shown off in the recent TMNT Shredder's Revenge gameplay as well as a release date. Fat Shark showing off some 40k Warhammer Dark Tide gameplay. That's looking nice. Scorn, the grotesque horror. Looking really nice. Cod trying to come back with 7 minutes of gameplay of a level. Trying to come back with a bang for Modern Warfare 2. An Aliens game we never asked for, but we're not here to talk about that. There's many more that I'll cover on the channel soon. We're here to talk about the Callisto Protocol. Glenn. Woo, this shit is looking really good, really good. First off, we got an extended trailer from the original trailer. So we got more dismemberment, more gore, into fans. It's all over the place. Love it. It's just oozing with passion from Glenn Schofield, the original creator of Dead Space. Glenn, this is looking phenomenal. This is next gen, boys and girls. This is what next gen fucking looks like. Not let's sell the same game again because we can't think of anything. We're out of creative ideas. Looking at you, Neil Druckmann. This looks fantastic. This is going to be a hit. Guarantee you this is going to be a hit. I really hope that Glenn can speak to Fox, speak to Disney, and try and get that Aliens license. I'd love to see his interpretation of a third-person single-player Aliens game. I think he would smash it. He would smash it into the wall, through the wall. This guy is a legend. Just look at the lighting, the sound, the music, the atmosphere. I'm already immersed, and I'm only looking at two and a bit minutes of gameplay. So we got that extended trailer with more gore and stuff, but we also got like two and a bit minutes of actual gameplay. It showcases Jacob, the main protagonist, in a med bay, overseeing a hologram of the disease of this biophage taking over the prisoners. We also see the grip, which is this gravity gun that the prison guards use, that you can use to like pull, pull them up, throw them into fans, and just obliterate them. They show off the dismemberment system, now, they spent two years on this dismemberment system. Two years. If that's not dedication to a game, I do not know what is. This is what being a perfectionist looks like when it comes to being creative within the gaming space. This is why it's next gen. I'm loving everything I'm seeing here from the gore, the dismemberment, the environments, the lighting, the weapons, the enemy type. It's all looking incredible. We get to see him use some baton action, some stomping action. He takes out a power supply of the door to make sure that no more biophage come through the door. Then we see him in his suit. And as you see on the back of his neck, that is where your health bar is. Same with Dead Space. Glenn doesn't want UI to be intrusive to your experience so that you still feel immersed within this world that he's created. So that's the reason you have your health bar on the back of your neck. Wanted to take the UI out. So he always wanted to innovate. It was the same with he's got a lot of admiration for Resident Evil 4, which is probably one of the best in the series. And everything he did, he wanted to innovate. So when you play Resident Evil 4, you stand still when you aim. So he said, right. I don't want to stand still when I aim because that pulls me out of the experience. Let's innovate on this and let's run while we can aim. And he was the first one to do that. Just these little leaps make a hell of a difference to your experience when it comes to gaming. So now he's in this power station. He's getting hurled with projectiles, dealing with some more biophage, grabbing it, throwing it into that fan, obliterating it. Still getting hit by these projectiles using this gun that's very reminiscent of Dead Space. I remember it going vertically and horizontally to dismember enemies. And then Jacob just gets caught in this turbine and just gets literally shredded it looks fantastic incredible death scene cannot wait to play it on december 2nd i hope you feel the same let me know in the comments down below that's going to be it for the video guys thanks for watching as always i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to support it with a like it helps out me and helps out the channel and i wouldn't ask you otherwise subscribe for more upcoming games you'll find other games i'll be covering loads of games over the summer game fest xbox bethesda you name it the game videos are going to keep coming throughout the week so stay tuned be sure to hit that notification bell to always stay up to date and as always have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time